What's up guys, Mike Tierney here with Princess Auto. Welcome to Tech Tips with Mike T. We're talking about accessories for your heaters. Now there's a ton of accessories that you can select from. Some are more specific to each type of heater, but we're just gonna go through a handful that we carry in our stores. To top everything off, safety is a must when it comes to heaters and in, in our sections in our stores, typically you're not going to find probably the most important accessory and that's a carbon monoxide slash fire detector. Um, heaters that are propane, diesel, gas, etc. they are extremely dangerous when it comes to carbon monoxide. So if you're in a space and you're using them to, you know, recreation or if you're a workspace and you're really not bringing in that fresh air intake, again, about two to three square feet of fresh air for every 100,000 BTU, you must have a carbon monoxide detector. It's just an indicator. It's peace of mind. You just want to be safe about it. And then if you do have a fire, maybe you've got an automatic system on your electric heater. Maybe there's a short, at least if uh, you've got a fire, uh, fire alarm going off, you have that opportunity to kind of react to it. Now, in addition to the carbon monoxide detector, a fire extinguisher is pretty much a must in your shop. You should already have one if you're doing any kind of, you know, grinding and that kind of stuff, welding. But a fire extinguisher, when you're using your heaters, um, it's just peace of mind. So some of the next uh, um, accessories are things that we work with with the individual units. So let's start with propane application. So it doesn't look like much. Um, this is basically a plastic donut a 20, 30, or 40 pound tank can fit inside here and uh, basically it stops your tank from the possibility of tipping over or it helps reduce the risk. Um, you know, when we're out ice fishing, if we're using the standalone tank, if it gets bumped, it has a lot less opportunity to tip over. Um, when it's in the back of my truck and I sit it in here, again, if you're bouncing around, it doesn't have that ability to tip over as well. So um, a cheap way to, to, to keep your, your propane tanks from falling over and causing issues uh, you know, with your heater, damaging a, you know, a, a tank top heater, that kind of stuff. So um, very, very simple, inexpensive safety tip. When it comes to um, some of the, the smaller uh, radiant heaters, so the little buddy, the big buddy, and those types of heaters, um, if you want to use a 20 pound tank with the big buddy heater, you're going to need an inline filter. So the inline filter will go between your propane tank and your, your connection to your, your, uh, your, your big buddy. Um, typically you're using one pound tanks on them, but if you do want to have the expanded capacity, um, then definitely you will need the filter. Um, bulk propane isn't filtered out as nearly as much as the one pound tanks and uh, you can clog the inside jettings of your big buddy. So if you do want a little bit more capacity, you will require a filter or an inline filter for the buddy, the big buddy unit. Staying with the big buddy, um, there's kind of two ways you can control the big buddy. The high low setting um, has a fan system, so you either have to add batteries, um, so that can get expensive. So if you are more portable, definitely, you know, the batteries are probably going to be the must. Unless you've got a small generator running, you can buy the AC adapter, plug that into the Big Buddy only, and um, you can run that on AC power versus the DC batteries. Um, it won't plug in with the Little Buddy or the Flex you just uh, work this one with the, the big buddy. So it's, a, it's a, a, a cheaper way to keep power to your buddy to use the, utilize the fan system. So if you're using it in your garage, this is a great um, uh, accessory to have so you're not having to run through batteries all the time. As we extend our range of our tank to our heater, um, we have various lengths, 5, 10, 12, and 20 foot lengths of extended hoses. Um, some of them come with regulators. Don't forget you always have to regulate your propane. So this, in this case, this one does not have the regulator with it, 
but uh, you definitely want to make sure that your regulator is in line. Uh, but there's extensions that you can run so that if you want to have your propane tank elsewhere and then have your heater um, you know, in your, your location, then you have uh, options on the different lengths of extensions. To control some of your heaters, so some of your electric heaters, um, we carry accessory thermostats. So if you, you know, maybe your heater didn't come with one, but you can wire a thermostat in, definitely thermostats are something you can do um, and have your heater up in the ceiling, um, then control it and set it so that it kicks on, kicks off, just like it would be a furnace in your, in your house. We also carry uh, carrying bags. There's a couple of models. This model here is for the big buddy heater. Um, it's uh, you know wide open zipper, mouth opens up. You've got tools, uh, storage for tools, um, fishing stuff, hunting stuff, whatever it is, gloves, um, extra you know um, uh, accessories, and uh, it's a nice rugged case. It does have a kind of a weatherized liner, rubberized liner inside, and uh, we've got a couple of other models as well. And we also get some that are uh, opportunity buys that come on sale that are great for some of these smaller portable heaters. When it comes to the fuel driven heaters, um, we do carry um, a, a few different sizes of kerosene in our store. So we carry a, a, a jug of kerosene or a larger container of kerosene. Um, keep in mind, uh, kerosene over time will start to degrade so you do want to use it within that year um, it does have a bit of a you know a smell to it so handle it uh, you know with gloves typically uh, make sure that you're wearing you know a mask if it's glugging you don't want to get that splashed up because where you do have to pour them within the heaters it definitely uh, can splash up um, but uh, kerosene is a great option um, this is k1 kerosene it allows us uh, it's cleaner than say a k2 and um, you know it's great for the smaller applications when it comes to using your your kerosene heater obviously if you're using your heater for large amounts of work whether that's a construction site or at the farm you're probably going to be going with more of the bulk or using it from your your slip tanks or your big storage tanks um, that you probably have on site well, there's lots more accessories out there. You just have to come visit our website or go to our store. Tons of stuff in our store that you can select from. Well, that's it for Tech Tips with Mike T. We'll see you next time.